Alright folks, uh, once again it's your boy Jakari from Twisted Nightmare Gaming and um, I got an update to a uh, deck that I did a while back. Um, and you're seeing, uh, if you see the Lilith or the Arima, whichever the fuck was, this is a uh, Lilith, there we go. Um, then you pretty much can will this down to one of two decks. This is either going to be my late the Layer of Darkness Inferno build or Mystic Mind Green. Uh, it's going to be Mystic Mind Green. Kind of obvious. It's, it's me. Come on now. Uh, hold on. Let me turn on my damn TV. Um, so, let's go ahead and get this started. Uh, I have trimmed this down considerably from the build that I put out a few months ago. Because that, I believe that one was sitting at right around 60 cards. Yeah, no, this was closer to 40. Which is kind of surprising. Um, so let's get started. Um, the only main deck monster in the deck is 3 Lilith, Lady of Lament. You already know what it is. Tribute to Dark Monster with 2,000 attack. Uh, search three traps. Reveal them. Your opponent randomly picks one. Nine times out of ten with this deck. Three normal traps. To be more specific. Three normal traps. Um, with this deck, you pretty much know that with, I'm probably searching one of the like 12 normal traps in this deck and if I don't already have it then I'll probably search it just to piss off my opponent but again only my main deck monster um next we got the one copy of Carter Demise and then three copies of Demise of the Land. Um, it's kind of funny that they're right next to each other, but you know, I try to put my, my deck in alphabetical order or as close to it as possible because I know how awake I am when I'm making the deck. Uh, see, see, on the spot editing, I almost fucked up. Um, but yeah, you already know why that's in there. Carter Demise because it's at one, um, and then Demise of the Land because, you know, non-ashable, uh, basically, take what you, what I do with the zombie deck with, uh, Necro World Banshee, Demise of the Land, spell card version of that, except that I don't have to banish it, and I just have to wait for you to special summon a monster. And you can't ash it because I'm I'm special summoning I'm activating it directly from the deck instead of adding it to my hand, or I'm or, uh, or you know I'm, I'm instead of adding it to the hand, it's being special it's being activated straight from the deck, so no ash. Uh, with that, you already know triple field barrier because at that point if Mines on field, barriers on field. The only way you're getting rid, getting rid of mine, is if you banish it. That's literally it. Is if you banish it or you put it back into my deck under my hand. Um, this on the field. This actually keeps it, keeps the uh, blow up effect. If I have no monsters on the field. Or we have the same amount of monsters where it's supposed to when mine's supposed to check to blow itself up. Um I think that was a little too loud, but you know. Think, but uh yeah, if uh if Phil Barry on the field, mine doesn't blow itself up. Uh, you know, three goddess gold oracle. Because I want to make sure I know what the fuck you have coming up. But I want to make sure you can't have it. And then, you know, 
the the one of the main win con conditions of this deck. Triple mine. Didn't get hit. And I'm glad it didn't get hit. It, it, to be honest with you, where people find it to be unfair, it's completely goddamn balanced. If you don't know how they play around it, that's your fault. Uh, triple du pot of duality. I don't play desires because, you know, I don't want to play desires. Since I'm, this deck is like 43 cards, um, it directly conflicts with the next card after duality. So, which that means you kind of know what the next card was. Triple pot of extravagance. You already pretty much know that means that the extra deck don't matter. That was the last uh, spell card. Now for the traps. Uh, double Dark Bribe. Triple Disturbance Strategy. If you don't know what Disturbance Strategy mean, uh, does, it forces my opponent to put their hand back in their deck, shuffle their deck, and draw that many cards, which goes perfectly with the next, the overall theme of the second half of the deck, which is the greed portion of the deck, which means I force you to draw cards, which means I burn you to death for making you draw cards outside of your draw phase. So triple greed uh, literally says if a person draws cards outside of their draw phase during the end phase of the turn, they take 500 for every card that they drew. So that is the other win condition in this. So one is a... So basically I kind of run it hand in hand to make sure my opponent's going to burn himself to death because I'm forcing them to draw cards over and over and over again. And I've had it where I've OTK'd somebody on my opponent on their turn by making them draw multiple cards and then banish their hand, draw that many discard their hand, draw that many. Come on now. Um, the only spell and trap destruction I have in the entire deck is triple uh, Heavy Storm Duster. I don't really want anything else. Again, another card searchable by uh, Lilith. The one metaverse because you can only run one, so I never buy to pick up the super rares. Um, triple present card again, discard your hand, draw five cards, meaning it's a guaranteed 2500 damage at the end of the turn unless you pop the greeds, uh, triple secret blasts, you take 300 for each card uh, you control, and uh, yeah, for each card you control. So, um, if you pop this, if my opponent pops this card, then they take a thousand. So it's either you're going to take a thousand or you're going to take 300 for every card you have on the field. And in your hand, technically, because you do control the cards in your hand, too. And then the last card is triple Trickstar Reincarnation. Manage your hand, draw that many cards. So, it's kind of obvious. If you didn't realize that tricks our reincarnation was going to be in this deck then you know there's a problem with that equation um the extra deck really doesn't matter but if you really want to see the extra deck you know here it is uh it is not in order uh let's see so <laughs> zerboros booster uh underclock quad ball Double triple burst, <laughs> Beals, uh, Violet Chimera, uh, two more quad borals, <laughs> uh, Furious Dragon. How many guys is that? One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, twelve. So another booster dragon. I think that's. Uh, I think that's the third one. I don't. I stopped counting after the first one because, I, again, my extra deck doesn't really matter. Actually, that's the second. So that's third. So that's 13. So 
kind of triple burst, and then another Furious. Like I said, extra deck really doesn't matter as long as it's 15 and nothing's banned out of it. So, it, it's literally there specifically for um, part of a strategy. It's coming up. This is, this is me. But I, I actually enjoy playing this deck. I know somebody, I know a few people who hate playing against this deck. They were not expecting me the way that this deck plays. It was like, so how do you get stuff to you? I get it. It's really all that matters. I have no rhyme or reason on how I get it. I just get it. Um, but uh, this has been your boy Chikari from Twisted Nightmare Gaming. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, I got more coming up. I hope everybody stays safe during this uh, during this time with, uh, with the coronavirus running rampant and ruining people's days and lives and you know no the, the time frame of no tournaments for Yu-Gi-Oh uh, hopefully all your loved ones and you guys stay safe uh, this is, uh, don't forget to like share and subscribe and yeah let me know what you think talk to you later bye